Hi, Milos here, Acting President of the Humber College Faculty Union. And in this video, I'd like to give you some reasons to reject or vote no to the College Employer Council's forced ratification offer. We will be voting on this offer in an online vote from February the 15th to the 17th. You will be receiving a link to vote in your Humber email, hopefully very shortly. Now, first things first, I want to assure everyone that in the event of a successful no vote, we will not be hitting the picket line. I get asked that question quite a bit, and the faculty bargaining team has made it clear that a rejection of the CEC's offer is in no way tied to uh, an immediate escalation to a full-on strike. Now, you might have noticed uh, that the CEC uh, of late has stepped up its PR game and they are now sending daily messages in which they continue to paint our proposals as non-starters uh, and as even downright illegal. Um, and on the flip side, uh, they've tried to position the status quo as a sort of virtue unto itself and they've even backed up the status quo with a catchy little slogan certainty in uncertain times or something like that. But anyway, uh, the question you need to be asking yourselves is, how's the status quo working for you these days? Uh, because I can tell you, this is a status quo that refuses to acknowledge the work, dedication and passion it takes to adapt to the pedagogical challenges of today. Likewise, this is a status quo that treats partial load faculty like disposable second-class teachers. Um, and as an example of this, let's just have a look at what the CEC is saying in its offer about the ability of partial load members to bridge their health benefits from one semester to the next. Currently, bridging is not possible, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, there will always be a gap in coverage, even if you know, between December and January, where there's only really a couple weeks between teaching times. Anyway, the CEC is now saying, yes, we agree with you. We will commit um, to bridging of benefits. Yet in the next sentence in their offer, they tack on a proviso that says that the partial load member will only be able to bridge benefits if they have a signed contract in hand at the end of one semester for the next semester. Now, I don't need to tell you that at Humber, that almost never happens. So at the end of the day, the only thing that the CEC's status quo gives us is hypocrisy and doublespeak. Now, I can tell you this. I know that our proposals are very much starters because on the one hand, this on 24 Ontario colleges have amassed something like $1.6 billion in operating surpluses since 2016. And on the other hand, the Ontario college system spends less money per student than other provinces, which is very shameful. I also know that our proposals are very much legal and we now have an independent legal opinion that says as much. And I also know that when we reject this vote, the CEC will have no more legal recourse but to do one of two things with us. Sit down and bargain a deal at the table or refer the outstanding issues to binding arbitration. And I can tell you this, in arbitration, we will get a much better deal than what the CEC is offering now. It happened in 2017, and it can happen again in 2022, right? So please, when you reject, you are actually voting for more time to support your students. You are voting for better language in the partial load registry. You are voting for better definitions of counseling work. You are voting for task forces with real teeth to come up with real recommendations to adapt to the conditions of today. So really, please keep that in mind. We will win and we can actually improve our working conditions immeasurably and it will happen very, very soon. Please vote no 
And who knows, in two to three years from now, we could legitimately be fighting for shared governance. Bye.